Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and if you're new here, my channel is Ecology. and today I am in the historic town of Taiping and I'm just standing right outside of Peace Hotel, a heritage building here in Taiping. Taiping has been voted the third most sustainable city in the world by the famous Berlin International Tourism Award in 2019 just behind La Ljubljana of Slovenia and also Vancouver of Canada. Taiping has been called Malaysia's first town because the first museum in Malaysia is built right here as well as the first post office, the first lake garden, the first zoo, first railway station, they're all built right here. I'm here to explore the delicious food of Taiping and hopefully I'll bring you to some of the attractions here in Taiping, Fera. So let's explore Taiping. It's super early in the morning and this breakfast place is already super packed. Tucked away in the North Para Chamber of Commerce. This is where local people get their local noodle breakfast, which means the food here is delicious and authentic. I've tried it, it took me a long time to find a table. I ordered the dry noodle and it's really, really delicious. So I highly, highly recommend this place for your breakfast here in Taiping. So I am at Taiping Hawker Center. Um, this is a courtyard-like uh, hawker center with quite a lot of stalls and again, very well numbered. You must make a beeline to stall C37. C37 sells Chi Chong Fan. And it was like early in the morning and it was already a long line with local coming here for their breakfast. Um, so I think it's very, very authentic. It's the, the, the sauce is very red color. It's not the usual blackish brown sauce, but and it comes with yam cake. So this is this is I think yam cake chi chong fan. Mm. So it it tastes a bit sour with the yam cake. The ho fan is really smooth. Mmm. Pretty interesting. So, if you like yam cake and chi chong fan, I think this is your dream come true. But when you are in Taiping, you have to order this drink. This drink is originated in Taiping. It's called ho ga sai. <laughs> yeah, I repeat again, ho ga sai. It is a Hokkien word. It literally means lion eat tiger. So ho is lion and sai is tiger. So it literally means lion eating tiger. And it's actually a mixture between Milo, the local cocoa drink, and also the local black coffee. And supposedly when you drink it, you feel as strong as a tiger, that you can eat a lion. So I think that's the originated uh, term of this drink. Well, I taste the Milo more than the coffee. Um, yeah, and it's best to drink it with ice and it's best that you have it in, on breakfast so that you feel strong like a lion. So it's a very early morning here at Matang Larut Hawker Centre. 
this hawker center has a actually has a very long history here in Taipei. I think it's about 30 years and you can't miss it. It's really at the center of town. Hundreds and hundreds of hawker stalls here as you can see and all of them are very well numbered and if you don't know what to eat in Taipei and you want to sample everything then this hawker center is the place to come. You can't miss it, it's right in the middle of town. Uh, what is good here, the local told me are the wonton mee and the kway teow soup but I made a beeline to stall 62 for the chicken rice. As you can see there's a long line already behind me and I waited for about like half an hour quite a long wait for a chicken rice. I barely fe feature chicken rice in my video. Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty good. Highly recommend but you have to spend highly recommend but you have to spend time for the lining up. So this is Kaka restaurant. It's a very well established local eatery here. And they are famous for everything chicken shredded. I ordered the chicken shredded dry noodle and the chicken skin with bean sprouts. They look absolutely delicious. I heard also the chili sauce here. The chili sauce here are handmade and it's a very traditional Kopitiam that is very typical to all the small town here in Malaysia but I think what makes this place so nice is I only see local people coming here to eat and so very authentic, very typing food and don't forget to order, they have their own concoction this is called kakapeng and kakapeng means like kaka ice and kaka ice is made of what I heard is coffee and barley Mm. Oh, there's actually barley inside here. A little bit of the homemade chili sauce. And then we like that. Mm. Look at that. I am so hungry. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. The noodle it thicks, it's thick and crunchy and oh god, it's very good. Mm. And all things chicken. So if you like chicken, if you like noodle, this is the place for you. So when you're in Taiping, never, never miss the PSL uh, pisang goreng, the fried banana here. It is so famous. They have the freshest banana and I heard that it's from a farm in Gemunting and that's where they get the bananas and this is just one ringgit a piece and they have all sorts of fried stuff uh, for dessert and for your afternoon tea. This banana is so so crunchy and still very hot on my hand ah. mm. Mm, it's super sweet mm. very very nice so there you go boys and girls those are the amazing food of Taiping I've been having so much fun and I think Taiping is a very I think Taiping is a very charming town. It's very walkable everywhere. And it has fresh air. The people here are the friendliest. Come and visit Taiping yourself. It's such a beautiful, beautiful town. Um, have a walk in the lake garden in the evening and then stroll along its uh, night markets. Such a nice and easy town 
walkable town. I'll see you in my next video where I will be showing you the cafes of Taiping. There are lots of good cafes here and did you know that the first coffee factory was built here in Taiping? So I'm going to show you all the top cafes in Taiping on my next video show. Stay tuned. Bye!